Good afternoon. Rain stops play. I think it's going to be much. Hope not. It's busy. Busy making a new gate for the side of the house. So, putting some cedar spars on it. We ain't bought them. That's a bottom. That's a thing. But, uh, got a good price on them, so. Framed up. The cedar was as cheap as anything, so just buy them. That was it. It's quite nice stuff, homegrown. So, nice lad, it's got that place now. Little Ross, uh, Johnny, who had it, the sawmill. He's away to Devon. I hadn't seen him for a while, mind I wonder. Just get that uh, out about. Well, amazing what you think of it. Anyway, I thought I'd let you see the staff we're working on. It was that bit of uh, fruit wood that, uh, that's for Drizzly, uh, the man. So when I took the, I took the top off it just to have a look and uh, see just how far it was seasoned. It was it's near enough. I went ah, close enough. He's in a rush for it anyway. So I was oh well, right, okay, we'll do this. So we did it, and so. We've got it at 90% there, uh, and that's that uh, potassium permanganate stained, and uh, it's got one lucky varnish, it's still got a rub, and it's got the ferro on the bottom, we'll put it on. Um, so, it's came along quite nicely, uh, and so we'll fade the bit of antler to the top of it. Um, that was a bit of a job that yesterday. I used that uh, waste system resin. Great, great stuff actually. Fantastic. Uh, I'm trying to find. Oh, there's a bit there actually. It's a waste I need to get past. But I don't use it often enough. This is a problem. Um, and so I've done it on the usual way I do it with the. Uh, the dowel system that projected more of the stainless steel above the dowel, put it into about probably there, and uh, so it's down into the, the shank, right down into it, right on the joint, and comes up through where the dowel is and projects up into the, the antler. So was, and what I did was a uh, seal. Well, I thought I'd sealed it. I was a wee bit too quick. I was a wee bit ambitious. <laughs> um, and thought I had sealed totally, and especially where the tether came out through, um, I rebated the the bottom of the antler for the tether to go in, and uh, did it work? Yes, it worked fine. Uh, put the ends into the, the down into the, the shank, bored a couple of holes, popped it in, and as I say, rebated the bottom of the antler to take the, the cord as it went round and it came out through the thing. This was a weak spot. Uh, wasn't thinking properly um, and thought I had it sealed. Uh, and no, I'd forgotten that uh, the amount of heat that this resin system creates when you're mixing it. Um, yeah, just a bit too much. So uh, we managed to stem the flow, but it was it was a messy business for a little while until we actually got it resealed. But the heat's fantastic. Absolutely, something else. I mean, it, I, did, I I've not used this enough. This is the problem. Uh, and I'm learning as I go, um, and each time, obviously, we're getting a little bit better. Um, I wouldn't say the waste system, the, the flood says to me, how long will that last? I don't really know, actually, I, I keep wasting it this way, it maybe not last terrible long. But, and plastic, don't mix it in plastic. Uh, I, as you can see, it's deformed the plastic uh, thing we done and went solid. Oh, 
the difference between liquid and solid on this is virtually no time to pour it. And I had held off and held off to try and get it to that point where it's just going off and you've got enough time to pour it, get it in there where it's but the, the time is too sh short, it's seconds. Maybe 15, 20 seconds, maybe if you're lucky, I think. Between liquid and then and going off. Uh, and so I think if you've got, if I had it sealed, then it wouldn't have been a problem. Um, but, uh, and if you're pouring into a mould or painting with it, it's fine. If you put in a thin coat, but I was actually I'm filling up the inside off. Uh, as you can see, uh, I bored the uh, right through, cleaned the antler right out altogether, and uh, sealed it at the bottom. I think we've got it so sorted and then poured it from the top in. Uh, and it did work, but yeah, it was, it was kind of messy. If, and uh, the, the sheer amount of heat that built up in the armour was part of the, the problem. Uh, but we, we got there. So while I was doing that one, I got another one to make too. So um, this is really just a, a or a beating stick. This one I, I'll be, I'll be, I was going to be pouring it just shortly there, but we'll, we'll need to wait until the rain goes off. And doing it inside, there's fumes are a bit iffy on it, so you really want to be door open or you know, the door might be enough, but I like doing it outside and that's... <coughs> I'd say we've got to take the inhaler before I do that. <laughs> oh dear. So anyway, this one's ready to go. Um, and it's got a bit of a crown on it, I bet. Anyway, and as you can see, I've board through this. I took a slice off this basically so as I can I can uh, do exactly what I did with that. Pour from as you can see it turns so once it's sorted out this will be resin back on and uh, and then it will be shaped off the suit. Um, quite chuck to, to cut that bit out there. But this old old stuff that like you know, um, but uh, so that's where we are. But this is a, a good, a good beaten stick more than anything else. And this will this will be like you know, um, uh, that's a good beaten stick, uh, but solid, absolutely solid. So that's the the, the state of play. As I say, great stuff, but. You need to uh, be on the ball, and, also, and the more I use it, the better. I sh the better I should become. <laughs> if I remember what the hell I'm doing. But between each time, of course, uh, I use it for painting the the antler and uh, some of the sticks, and fine for that. It's not a problem. Like you know, I uh, get a good mix on it, paint it on, uh, watch the run situation on it, and. You, you get a good finish and it, it goes off it's, and it's in its own time, it's not a problem. But in pouring on a, on a scale, on a mask and anything, uh, and I did know because I'd watched some of these guys pouring, it's the same, basically the same resin as they're using for these uh, resin tables now and that kind of thing. And, and uh, I know when they're doing it, they're, they've got fans all set up around about, and some of the pores are fantastic. I mean, and I, I did see one where it went wrong, where it superheated and blew itself apart. Um, so, but that was that. So, but I'm here on a small, small scale. It's the <laughs> same again, measured about the uh, I was doing it with the uh, big syringes, but after so many uses, uh, the resin itself is not a problem pulling in the syringe in and out the syringe. The syringe, the syringe works fine, the syringe works fine for that, but for the hardener. You don't get many pulls out the SR engine in there, thing would so we're back into the small little cups that are, I've got. I have two or three of them left somewhere. They've got the increments marked on the side, so uh, 
that, that's what we'll be doing this afternoon, using them rather than the, the syringes. I like the syringe, but it's, as I say, it's, you don't get many pulls on it, and so it's, it won't pull anymore. Um, uh, so I think that, that's about, that's basically about it, like, you know. I went for a wander around the estate this morning. Great morning, it was good air. Um, Rid of that claggy, humid stuff that in the afternoon there it's been building up something else, like, you know, and it's usually when you end up a better night than it's been a, a day. So, how much we're going to get, don't know. Clears the air a little bit. Easier for us smokers to breathe in and out. Anything else? Ah, it's still juking around everybody. I need to get the minister's stick started shortly, so that'll probably be the next thing. But uh, if I can remember what I've got to do. But this I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with. Uh, as I say, I met him the other day in the garage and whatnot. He was getting fuel for the busy stream and the, the pheasants, basically. The pheasants getting close to the time for the pheasants coming. We've got a new gamekeeper coming on the estate to shortly, so uh, the last one had to depart, so I won't go into that story, that's a story of itself. Man. But uh, as I say, I met him in the, the garage four court. How am I start coming on? I went, oh, it's coming on, fine. I says, I says, now you do, mate, you know, because I says that <laughs> you mustn't come empty handed. Man! Oops. You mustn't come empty handed, this is, uh, so you're busy thinking about what you're going to bring me, aren't you? Oh, well, I hadn't really thought of that. I said, well, I, I want you to think of this, Chris. This is because this is important. The, you know, our friendship depends on this, like, you know, what you bring this t for this thing will depend on whether there's others to come, like, and to go, like, you know. Oh, right, right, right. I said, because I'd, I'd hate to ruin a friendship here by with you coming with nothing, I just, that's all I <laughs> I just remind them that <coughs> the traffic goes both ways. Sometimes you've got to do this, like, you know, right? But then, then the whole is not bad at all, like, you know, but uh, it doesn't do to keep it fresh in their memory that they should, they should arrive with something for you, uh, at least, like, you know, right? Uh, I do enjoy doing these things and whatnot, but uh, at the same time, it's nice to be nice. Anyway, we'll leave it with it. Bell's on. We'll go and see whether we can put the... I'd film the pudding resin, but oh, you wouldn't enjoy it. I wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> Catch you again. Cheers.